back in with another command block tutorial and this time we're going to be doing the simple buy shop um, and this is as simple as I can get it and there are, I know there are many many buy shops out there um, but this only consists of three command blocks uh, to set up the whole shop for each item so with that let's get to it. So first of all let's uh, get on with the demonstration here so I've got $20 as you can see on the right and we'll just head up to the shop here it says buy wooden sword at $10 we're going to hit the button um, and I've kept the information to pop up on the left so you can see what's happening um, we paid $10 let's check how much I have um, and we've got given a wooden sword so we've still got another $10 we'll be able to get another one by clicking it however now if we click it we will not be receiving a wooden sword because we don't have any more dollars and we're down to zero so in case you're thinking well I don't have a scoreboard um, on the right hand side I don't have any dollars how do I set that up well I do have another neat video which I'll link now um, should be popping up on the screen however we'll go for a very quick um, a quick way to do it right here before we start up the shop so for this you are going to need three command blocks the first one is going to be if we just open it up um, and of course you can just copy it as is if you want to change the actual you know from dollars uh, to money you can change that but we do a scoreboard objectives add this is the name of what you want to add as the scoreboard objective I've just put dollars and then a follow up with dummy don't it's just an impulse unconditional needs redstone and then once you've done that you just hit the button and you will see that it says added a new objective dollars successfully second one up is actually to set how much you want players to have so you're going to do a scoreboard players set at a um, dollars again so you just keep it spelled exactly the same um, and zero so we want to start me on zero and same thing there we just press the button and we're going to be set at zero there if I press that you can see set dollars for jdog131131 to zero. So last one to complete it, you actually want it popping up on your screen on the right there. So we're going to do a scoreboard, objectives, set display, and sidebar dollars. Um, so once you hit that, of course it's going to pop up. Mine's already up. Um, I'll show you an example of how to take it off, and then I'll pop it back up again. You just take the actual name of it off the end, and you just do a scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar. Um, and then you go ahead and press the button there it will take it away from my screen because you've set it to nothing um, now if I want to pop it back on again all I'm going to do is just add dollars spelled exactly the same as before and when I hit that button you're going to see it's going to pop up on the right so that's the actual currency and scoreboard set up what we need to do now is get to the back of here and check out the three command blocks used to do this now of course you can actually do more this is the uh, most simple version that you can do and this is for one item so what we're going to do of course the button is um, on the block above the command block so I don't do it on the command block itself I do a block on top of it and then put the button there um, that way it won't light up any other blocks around it and just, just be careful of course so the first one what you're going to do is you're going to be testing that the player actually has that many dollars so if we open up the command block you're going to see we've got a scoreboard players test at p so it's testing the closest person for the scoreboard amount dollars and 10 so we're testing for 10 dollars and this is an impulse unconditional needs redstone because it's only going to be activated by the button of course if it's found that you've got less than 10 dollars which i had zero before it's not going to go down to the next command block or it's not going to execute it so the next one's a conditional one so that's how you can stop people actually claiming stuff if they haven't got enough money so i move down to the second one down of course it's a chain conditional always active that means that if uh, the first one or the one above it hasn't agreed so it hasn't got 10 dollars or more it won't go down to this one uh, however if he has got ten dollars what we're going to do is follow up with the scoreboard players remove at p so the closest player dollars ten so if they do have it it's then going to recognize they do it's then going to remove the ten dollars um, from your account and this is chain conditional always active then we're going to move down to the last one and this is really where you can get started giving players stuff obviously i've just kept it to a wooden sword this time but you can add as many things in the chain conditional always active command block um, and you can keep going down so i've done a give at p wooden sword one zero so i'm just going to be giving the closest player a wooden sword um, uh, of the value of zero and just one sword and i'm going to be keeping this as a chain conditional always active this is just to make sure that it doesn't go through unconditionally because if you keep it um, to unconditional then then it, even if this one doesn't agree so they haven't got um, ten dollars it will still go through to the next command block so that's your three there and that's how to keep it super simple now like I said before you can actually add uh, many more things onto here so you know if you keep digging down you can just add a command block on the bottom there um, so what we'll do just for an example we'll add a shield as well so we're going to be adding a shield to this so I've got my command block and I'm going to be doing I'm going to be popping it down like that so it's still facing down so they're all facing in the same way going downwards oh didn't mean to put that one there Gonna open that command block up and here we're going to type another give because if you want to give a second item um, you do a give we're going to do a give at p uh, sorry at p not at a and we're going to do a shield 
and then just one of them. At this point, you're going to have to change it from an impulse to a chain, then unconditional to conditional, and always active. So we're going to want to give ourselves some coins with that. We're going to do a forward slash. We're going to do scoreboard, players, add. Um, we're going to do it for me, because there's no other players on here. Uh, dollars, and then the amount. So we're going to add $20 again, just so we can test it two times, and then hit enter. As you can see there, we now have $20. Uh, for those that you don't know, if you do want to actually remove that amount, instead of add, you just change that to remove, and it will remove the amount um, with exactly the same command. So now we come over here, we're going to press the button, and we should have $10 taken off of us, and a shield and a sword. There we go, we've received both. Now if we do it again, we should receive it one more time. However, now if we press it, we won't receive any more. As you can see, nothing pops up on the screen anymore. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found that helpful. If you did uh, like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you really liked it. We've got lots more command videos on the channel if you want to check it out. And of course, if you are running a server, don't forget to check out my Seeker Host tutorial playlist. Lots of handy tips for your servers. And if you wanted to join a server yourself, don't forget to join out the, sac uh, the Shack, sorry, the, my Discord site. Got lots of servers on there at the moment that you can publicly join on to and play. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.